Toy Lanes and Megan Thee Stallion. You know, I'm not going to say Toy Lanes and Megan Thee Stallion's trial because I feel like it's getting on. It's, it's, it's Toy Lanes trial. It's Toy Lane trial, and I think that's important. So it kicked off yesterday in Los Angeles. Lane's lawyers said Megan Thee Stallion and her former friend Kelsey Harris were seen fighting the night of the shooting. Toy's lawyers claimed the two women dated the same men, which was the root of the fight. His attorney claimed Stallion and Kelsey both dated Toy Lane's, the baby and NBA player Ben Simmons, and Megan Thee Stallion confirmed that the argument with Lane stemmed from the romantic situation, but escalated after Megan criticized his musical skills. It's reported that she said his music is trash. Kelsey Harris testified that she believes Megan became intimate with Tori after Kelsey spent time at home recovering from COVID. Let's start with you, Al. What are your thoughts on this update? Yeah. <laughs> I was going to be messy. You know, Megan Thee Stallion got quite a little collection of different type of men that she likes to mess with. She likes some short, she likes some dark, and I, I'm glad to know that she likes some light skin. Can you guys believe that it's been two years, though? That's what's been, that was so interesting to me. I think, Claudia, I think you hit it on the head. I think that there are two trials going on here. There's a trial of public opinion, and then there's the real trial. In the trial of public opinion, it looks like Megan Thee Stallion Stallion may be questioned because of her actions and her uh, decisions of who she hang out with, who she's had sex with. She hasn't been the most honest with the police. Um, she's lied to them. She's sleeping with her best friends, men, allegedly. Um, it's just so many things that are just adding up on that side of the story. When you think about public opinion, when I say public opinion, I mean the blogs, I mean the internet, I mean social media, and, and some TV coverage. Now, the true trial here is, and this is where we need to focus our attention as it relates to the legal. It is the state of California against Tory Lanes, And that's what we should be focusing on. A woman named Megan Thee Stallion happened to have gotten shot in that instance. And I think as it as we start to cut away the fat, we're going to see that Tory Lane definitely has a few reasons to be concerned because he's got to explain, A, he had the gun, the gun was near him and was his, and Megan Thee Stallion was definitely shot by that gun. So this is going to get interesting. I agree. Okay. Q, what do you think about this? So, you know, Claudia, I'm going to give you a little pushback. It is two trials. It is the Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lane's trial. Let me first start out by saying <clears throat> I firmly believe Tory shot at that ground and some type of bullet fragment hit that girl in her foot. I believe he's solely responsible. I think what further supports that is that Kelsey is being called as part of uh, 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 the defenses or, or, or Megan's side to testify, they've got text messages showing whatever, whatever, whatever. But, but is it me? Or do y'all girls remember Megan Thee Stallion getting her ass on that Gail King interview, lying, talking about she ain't had no sexual relations with this man, okay? Right. But the court papers, and I see them, the court papers is saying something else. The testimony is saying you was intimate with the man but you also knew Kelsey liked them, so you wanted to keep the situation up under the wraps. Now, Megan, I understand that this is a trial about your foot and not your coochie, but you lied to us, honey. And, and while I want Tori to get in trouble, it just makes me side eye, Megan, that you and your team did that Gail inter Kale King interview in an effort to sway the court of public opinion and you sat up in there in, in all of our face and told a bold face lie where all of us could already tell you and Tory Lanez had them been intimate with one another. And that don't came out in the courts. Okay. Um, I hear you. I hear you. And it doesn't bode well, well for her that she lied about that, but I get it. You know, I, I will say this. I feel like um, Megan was, that was the first interview she did after Toy was making songs, talking crap on the internet, saying a lot of stuff about her. And here she comes. She, you know, I, I get why she said that. And I remember when she said it. I forgot the exact word. I was just trying to look it up, what, like how she said it. Because when she said it, I felt like she was kind of getting off on a technicality. Like, you know, were you with that guy? It was I like, did you guys it. have a relationship? Yeah, I think that's I think, how Gail worded it. Right. And I, I remember when it happened. I remember like girl language. Like she did something, but it wasn't a relationship. And she said enough to like she could sleep at night. But you know what I mean? Wink, wink. That's what I remember getting from that mm -hmm. interview, right? Um, Kelsey asked for a, an immunity deal in court, right? 
she's she's immune. But then she got on there and, and said, no, you know, she played the fifth and she couldn't remember a whole bunch of things. But she was talking a lot of crap before. Remember, she was like, mm. I can't wait so I can tell my truth. Well, bitch, tell your truth. Mm. Why are you not telling your truth? I'm going to say this. I don't what I don't like about this story is it has become the Megan Thee Stallion trial. Mm-hmm. And it should not be about who she had sex with, okay? I don't care if she had a whole train ran on her. That doesn't make her, she doesn't deserve to be shot over that. And I don't like, I feel like the defense does this all the time when it's a woman. Oh, look at all the men she was with. Who do you think was with more people, Tori or Meg? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it's never going to be about that. And with her, like if, you, if a woman has been with three or four guys publicly that we know about, she's the biggest whore in the land and we can't trust anything she said. When with the double standards, you blame a woman for saying, no, I wasn't with them because that's how we get judged. We don't get judged by our character only. We get judged by our character and who we've been dating and who we were around. And Ben Simmons went on the internet and said, cap, like he was denying that there was, he's like fake news. He said something like that. Um, I, think- I, I, I think this is really sad because at the end of the day, Kelsey or Tori wasn't the one injured, whether you believe it was shot, ricocheted. Tor- Tor- Megan is the victim here. She's the only one that got hurt. She's the only one that got that got that got um, injured. And it's become Meg's line. She's a bitch. I don't like her anyways. And she's masculine and she's a whore and she's an alcoholic. And when people start doing that defense team, I start to question how strong is your case? I think my question here, though, Claudia, is um... He has potential of going to jail for 20 years, right, for something that the state is bringing up against him. It's not something that Megan is bringing up against him. She's merely a witness for the state. She's not going against him. She's not pressing charges. It's the state. I know. That's that's what I'm saying. The state Mm -hmm. is, and I think that's the rub for me, okay? The rub for me is that there's so many inconsistencies in these stories from both women that we can't, we can't, we can't trade that for giving a man 20 years in prison. We just can't do it. I think there has to be a more sound defense. So if if Tory gets off, Tory's not getting off because he didn't shoot her. I just want to make that very clear. That's all. Right. It's, it's, it's what you can prove in court. Right. Right. Well, and- here's one thing we do know. The story is still developing. And when it's all said and done, the truth won't come out. But them text messages don't lie. And um, I got a feeling that we're going to be surprised when this story finished baking. I well, like it. It's getting good. And now they're saying that, you know, he there's a recording of him apologizing profusely, then offered Meg the Stallion a million dollars. Why would an innocent man do that? My point exactly. But like we said, it's still developing, honey. So we'll see. It's Kelsey or Tori. It's one of them. <laughs> <laughs>